in talking about this book, which I wrote here, or largely wrote here, Her Father's Daughter, um, I was so full of gratitude to John and Kerry and Lamuse and the people who are here that, of course, I wanted to acknowledge that in the final publication of the book. And let me just read a paragraph where I do that. Four of these five stories were written during a two-month retreat at La Inn, a writer's and artist's retreat in the mountains of Languedoc. I'm grateful to John Fanning and Kerry Yelson, the owners of La Mousse, for their hospitality and for their vision in creating an environment in which writers and other artists can work in peace and amid extraordinary natural beauty by day and night and then re enjoy the release of Biblis artistic community in the evenings together. Um, so this is, and, and that brings me to the, uh, another thing about La Muse, that is there is a project that John and Kerry have in mind uh, sometime in the near to middle future, and that is to create um, a publishing house for people who have been to La Muse and have done good work here, uh, publishable work, commercially appropriate and publishable work, and to project that out to the world on, uh, initially at least, uh, ebook platforms. And that seems to me a very exciting thing, and I was very pleased to uh, accept John's offer that I um, be one of the earliest uh, works that would be put up under the, whatever title they come up with eventually, La Mousse books or some other um, significant and um, appropriate title for their publishing house. Um, the book that I've written is a short novel called Sisters, and as the title suggests, it's about three women who um, have, in their late 60s and early 70s, decided to spend the last summer together at a holiday house on the south coast. They've gone various ways in their lives uh, over those 50 and 60 years. And what they do when coming back together for a sort of celebratory, perhaps final, um, summer together in a place that they remember from 60 years earlier is try to come to terms with something that has worried and puzzled each of them in their different ways over all that time and that is the death of their brother on that coast in a sea cave all that long time ago. And of course, as we all know, memory distorts, changes, shapes things differently over time. And in their attempts to reconcile their different versions of what actually happened, what the meaning was of what happened in the boy's death, they find a new understanding about each other and are able to recreate uh, in a very special way the bonds that they had as very young children. So it's a family story. Um, it's got both a lot of fun in it. There's a lot of humorous scenes and comedic scenes, um, particularly through remembered games of childhood and family issues. But it's also quite sad too um, in coming to terms with something that had shaped all their lives but had never actually been fully confronted in the course of it.